Okay, let's go for the presentation which deals with setting up a low-cost imaging system. Uh, here we will use uh, Raspberry P. Um, the first part will deal with the physical connection. So we will see how to connect um, the components uh, in the network. So um, we will use Raspberry Pis and, the and one uh, router. So the goal here is to to get images uh, by launching a command uh, from the server to the client and using the camera which is connected directly to the client and use the router to connect the server and the client between us. So uh, here we use Raspberry SP and we will use also the camera module, uh, the official camera module of Raspberry. So um, uh, the, the server uh, uh, hasn't uh, a camera connected directly to, to it and we will use the camera connected to the client uh, and, uh, and the two raspberries connected to Wi-Fi to get directly the image by launching a command uh, in the server. So we can see also that the camera is connected directly to the, to the camera port of the raspberries because it is an official uh, camera, it is directly supported through that port. And also, uh, we will see that for for this example, we will use a random screen, and um, and we will see uh, after that part uh, some uh, pictures of the of the screen. It is just a random screen to um, to capture with the acquisitions. Okay, let's go for uh, the local acquisitions. So we will see in that part how to uh, how to get uh, an acquisition uh, directly uh, connected, uh, being directly connected, sorry, uh, into the um, the camera Raspberry. So the command we will use is Raspi still, and we just have to specify the the path of the output. So the args is O. And we specify, so we specify, sorry, the path of the output. So here it's home, pi, pictures, and the file uh, uh, will be will be called uh, test. And we just get the screen that we that we pre presented, sorry, previously. Okay, for just uh, taking an acquisition locally, but now because we want to get this acquisition uh, and launch the commands. Uh, from the server, we will have to uh, configure a protocol con connection between the, um, the machines, the computers. So uh, the communication protocol we will use is SSH because it is uh, very uh, easy to use and also very securized. So we will use SSH. But SSH needs uh, either um, uh, a password uh, or um, or a key like a RSA key or something like that. So, uh, firstly, uh, we can see here on the interface of the router that we we have the two raspberries connected to the router. They are connected by Wi-Fi to the router. So we will be able to do some connection between the server and the client. So the client here is the camera Raspi. So uh, the server Raspi uh, is the, the computer uh, with, uh, with is, uh, its IP address finishing by 181. And the camera uh, Raspi uh, is the machine um, with its IP uh, finishing by 102. So, how to um, so when we will launch command um, from the server to the client, uh, we don't want to assess each time a, a password, and we will just create keys and um, 
I paired uh, the two machines and after that we will not have to to provide a password each time we want to connect to the client so the first thing to do here we are on the server and we, we can connect uh, by SSH to the uh, the client so it is the first time we, we connect so we have to specify that yes it is the good machine and also we have to uh, provide the password if I type if config as a command we will see that here we 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 are um, uh, it is good we are in uh, the in the in the client so in the camera recipe uh, with the SSH protocol in the shell I can disconnect uh, the, the SSH connection so if I type if config we can see that we are uh, come back to the server so here the connection is done only in the shell so we want now to uh, don't provide the password each time each time and each time so we have just to create a key so it is a private we, uh, because we, we will use RSA uh, there will be a private and a public key here uh, we just uh, add an empty passphrase and now we want to uh, send the key to the client so the so that the the client will recognize each time uh, the machine so the, the server and don't ask to uh, provide uh, a password each time so we send it with the command ssh copy id to uh, p at the ip of um, the client so it worked perfectly and now if we want to ssh the um, the recipe camera we don't need a password because the key is automatically recognized by the client and here we are uh, perfectly in the client and we can disconnect to come back to the server so now we will see how to uh, get a remote acquisition so uh, launching the command um, from the server and getting the the picture taken by the client so here we can see that we don't have pictures uh, we don't already have pictures in the pictures folder so we are in the server and we uh, we can ssh the the client to connect to the raspberry cam okay so if we type if config we are perfectly in the raspberry cam and we can launch the command raspberry still with uh, and we specify the output we just uh, put it in the home uh, in the home directory and the file we will be called test distance okay so we we now have the file test distance uh, in the home directory of the raspberry uh, uh, the raspberry camera the client and now we can use scp so scp is a command um, which is provided with ssh it is the same protocol but for uh, it is a protocol of file transfer so to copy file to one um, to one machine to another so here uh, SCP take two arguments the first is the path of uh, the file we want to send and the second argument is the path we want to uh, where we want to copy uh, the, the file so in the the first argument will be test distance so the image uh, we we took and uh, we want to send it to the server so we specify the IP address of the server and the path uh, we want to to use in the server so here it is sending uh, it is sending the image to the server so from the client to the server okay it is 100% we can close the SSH connection and now we will have the picture take it, take uh, sorry took by um, by the client and now it is
perfectly uh, sent it to uh, sent sorry to the the server. Now we will see how to automate that remote acquisition. So uh, to automate uh, the, those commands, we will use a, a batch file. So batch file is just a system commands um, written in a file, and the system uh, will be able to launch the the commands in the file. So the first thing to do is to connect to the the client with SSH connection. So here we specify the IP address, and after that we can specify the commands we want to execute in um, in the machine we we are connected through SSH. So here the first command will be Raspi still, and we can specify the path. So here it will be test distance in the home directory. After that, we can add the separator and put another command, uh, which will be executed one by one. Now it is the SCP command to send the image uh, took uh, in the client to the server. So here we specify the address of the server and the path home p pictures and test distance. So with that, we just have to uh, execute um, uh, those commands to automate uh, the protocol. And here we just uh, have to, um, to execute the, this file. We just have to wrote, uh, to write, sorry, in the shell, sh space, the name of the of the sorry of the of the file. Okay, so the name of the of the file here will be get image remotely dot sh. So sh is the extension for batch file. Okay, so it is well saved, and now we can launch it because it it's, it is uh, saved in the home directory with sh get image remotely dot sh. So I launched it. There's just uh, uh, a time to get the picture. And what? Well, yes, it is perfectly acquired. And it is in the pictures, the, the, in the pictures folder. So now um, we will see the scheduled tasks with Linux. Uh, because if you want to, to have an image each, I don't know, each hour, we can schedule tasks to uh, each hour, launch the, the, the script and get the image. So um, uh, we will see how to, how to do it in Linux systems. It works with cron tab, so with cron and cron tab with schedule tasks. So here we will use nano and just we, we will just add a command to do uh, each uh, each time so the first parameter is the month uh, sorry the, the minutes the hour etc etc the day of the month uh, the month of the of the year etc and the and the last uh, argument is the command to execute so here if i do it if I write it, uh, I will execute. I will launch the the script um, each uh, each hour when the minute uh, is equal to zero. So uh, midnight, one hour, two hour, etc. So here it is for each hour. Each time the the minute is is equal, is equal sorry to zero we will launch the script. But we can also do something uh, like that. And here we say just each 10 minutes, you will, um, you will launch the script. So here we just, we will just have an issue with the, um, with the, um, sorry, with the name of the files, because we will each time overwrite uh, the previous file so we just have to uh, to 
to improve that part of the script, but it, it was just a short demonstration, so an, an introduction to how to set up networks um, uh, with Raspberry Pis and with uh, a router. So thank you for your attention and uh, I hope you will have some questions and I'm here to, to, to answer the, the, the questions. Thank you.